Yes. Good evening, all of you. Welcome to this wonderful platform on free digibyte session on game development using Python. Am I audible? Can I get quick yes or no in the chat section? Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm Sumi here, Head of Operations Skill Technica. Uh, today you have joined to explore how the games can be development using Python. Okay, so I'm very curious before starting the session, how many of you, uh, uh, which is your favorite game? Which is your favorite game? So everybody, I know this, uh, uh, everybody is used to play uh, games in your mobiles and your uh, laptops. So which is your favorite game? Can I get quick answer in the chat box? Ludo, Super Mario, yes. Okay, okay. Then, so what about Temple Run and other stuffs? Subway Suffer, okay. Free Fire, okay. So Temple Run has become out of box? Okay, okay. Good, good, good to know, yes. Very good, very good. Okay, okay. So everybody is alert here. Yeah. See, this topic is very quite interesting, right? Okay. Uh, before starting the session, I would like to, you may be wondering, you must might be hearing, you might have got the links from Skill Technica. Okay. So let me introduce a quick introduction. I won't take much of your time. We will go into the topic straight away, but uh, give me two, three minutes time to uh, uh, say who we are. Okay. See, Skill Technica is the futuristic skill, uh, skill development pla platform. Uh, we do all latest technological training. Okay, so not only training, along with the training, we give industrial exposure also. And we assist internships and placement also. We do project support for final year students and for uh, big companies also we are doing projects. Okay, so not only uh, this uh, skill development, it's skill development is associated, associated with uh, technical skills and other soft skills also. Yes, we are assisting everyone to uh, set, uh, settle into a very good job. So that is the motive of uh, our skill development. Uh, all these details, you can uh, visit our website, www.skilltechnica.com. So you may ask, what are all the uh, uh, trending technological training you offer? Here I have listed down a few uh, programs which already running with uh, Skill Technica. Yes, uh, from starting from IoT, AI, machine learning, deep learning, data science, blockchain, cybersecurity. Yes, all these courses already, uh, the batches are running. If you are interested in any of the platform, you can just approach us. All these details, again, you can visit to www.skilltechnica.com. Okay, so you may ask why it is a Skill Technica. Uh, there are a number of training platforms. See, our uh, one of the main motive is uh, tech learnings made it simple. Okay, so everybody think uh, that technology is very difficult or uh, whether it is easy or difficult or uh, how it is, you no need to bother about. When you enroll with us, we made it simple. We make it simple so that you learn according to the pace where you are. Okay, and the other main motive of uh, Skill Technica is giving the quality training. Okay, uh, we are not bothered about anything else, about commercials and other uh, stuffs. Uh, more than that, we are very much into giving a quality training with quality trainers where they have industry exposure also. We enroll only industry-based trainers to our institute and so that you get benefit of the complete uh, training with the technical, with industry exposure. So that's where we uh, stand different from other uh, training platforms. Yes, uh, here I have given a, a quick uh, view here, uh, why this uh, Python is uh, talk of the town or talk of the uh, world, you can say. All the technologies are now associated with uh, Python. Uh, see, I have a experience where, where this data science and artificial intelligence, many team managers and technical TLs enrolled with us, 
uh, the problem is they uh, they are not uh, having the Python knowledge because they are all uh, uh, means already experienced guys when in those days Python was not there. So when they enrolled with us, they feel, uh, felt very difficult uh, to catch up some technologies. So Python plays a major role to catch up other uh, future trending technologies. So this is going to be the base for next few, say that uh, 10 to 15 years, this Python is going to rule the world. Okay, so we these are our already learners. We not only uh, train students or job seekers, we train corporates also. Uh, uh, so these are all the already our alumni. Our uh, we uh, as I said, we do placement assistantship also. Uh, here I have portrayed uh, some of the companies already. We tied up and uh, we are doing uh, placement assistantship. So we enrolled already enrolled with three seventy plus recruiting partners. Uh, so Python has a very, very, very uh, good opportunity to uh, get into a job because there are n number of plenty of uh, job opportunities are there. So with this uh, presentation, uh, I would like to call upon, I will, we will go for our uh, topic of the day, that is the game development uh, using Python. Yes, I'm also wondered, we are everybody very much into playing into games. So. Uh, I am also very interested to know that how we can develop a game using Python. Uh, so here I am very uh, pleased, I'm delight, delightful to uh, welcome our uh, trainer and our uh, Python expert, Mr. Mohan, to take over the session and give about uh, how we can develop a game using Python. It's over to you, sir. Yes, thanks, Sumati, and uh, welcome one and all for this, you know, Lesson session, guys. I'm sorry for the video. I have some technical glitch, so I couldn't come on the video, but I'll make sure that you people get to know whatever it is. Okay. So I think we have around 55 members. Okay. So the reason why we choose this topic, you know, I know that everybody's interest is always towards the gaming. And this is the absolute reason why we actually chosen this game development topic. And the language that we have chosen here to show the game was Python. You know it, right? There was no much of introduction needed because, you know, it was already explained perfectly by Sumati on the thing. So let me head into the... Okay, so today's webinar is all about Python gaming. Okay, what does it mean? So I'm going to develop some game using a Python. Okay, and I know that, you know, people know why the Python is evolution now why the re what is the reason why people started choosing python because it is simplest of program okay so now the today's game is all about the flute and ninja using python i hope everybody at least somewhere their own you know their days at least would have gone through this flute ninja right sometime you know whenever i get go during my days okay so that's where i usually go and surf this game so I thought, you know, I can able to relate something with you people. That's why I chosen this game. And uh, this is just for example. Okay. So you can do plenty of, uh, uh, no, the games using Python. And this is perfectly, you know, suits our webinar. So I just taken this fruit ninja as a, a topic because here we're going to do with a lot of stuff. Okay. So the coding part will be a little easier here. So I thought of, you know, introducing you people to this kind of a gaming. Okay. So that's it. So today's topic is the Fruit Ninja game development using Python. Using Python. I'm not going to choose any other topic. Neither ML, nor OpenCV, Data Science, Pandas, nothing. A to Z, it will be completely Python. That I want to confess you people. Okay, so everything is on a... You know it, right? So before I head into our gaming webinars, right? So I want to quickly go through the prerequisites. That is important, right? I know that you people are, most probably people are in academics or some, may, some might be already working or some might be, you know, into the experience, to, you know, for sure. The important thing when you develop anything, before you develop anything, the first thing that you have to always focus is that, what was the exact prerequisite? What is the need before I develop? As usual, Python software, everybody knows, okay? And preferably the latest version, I'll be happy for the development. But you can choose a lower version also, but there will be slightest of a code change. And uh, the libraries that I'm going to use in my game development will be these three libraries, Pygame, OS, and Random. OS and Random, it is the inbuilt library of a Python. So when you download Python, 
this OS and random will come by default in their program. So you don't need to do the installation. For Pygame, as of course, you need to do the installation. There are two ways to do the installation. One, you can either choose pip install. I don't want to go deeper into the Python. I want to just stick with this gaming console, but I want to give the heads up. Okay. So the Pygame, you can download using the pip install through the command prompt. If time permits, if you have a time at last five minutes, maybe I can help you out with the installation part of this Pygame. Or else you can choose this website, which you see on the bottom of my screen. Okay. So I want to entitle these two as well. The first link that I've showed is for downloading of a Python. And next one is for downloading this Pygame courtesy to this website. Okay. Next topic. Right. So at the same time, it is not necessary that we should always stick with this technical aspect. At times, you may have to always analyze, pre-analyze what are the non-technical needs. Okay. So basically, what I want, what I want is that you know it, right? So when you develop a game, especially fruit ninja, what happened? Some fruits will come out where you have to sl slice it. Okay. And there will be X button which shows you the life, and there will be a score, and these are nothing but images. Okay. So that's what I told. So you need to have an image folder with all the image re requested or, you know, it is needed for the project development and the background, any game, which always give the attraction and which always gives you that impression. It's because of the background that it possess very vital role. You might feel, you know, it may not play the huge role, but imagine, you know, guys, whatever the application that you people use, whatever the website you people use, when the website looks so good, for our naked height, that is where we get impressed. Then we'll feel, yes, the wow factor. So that's what important. That image selection for the background of the game, important. And as usual, fonts. Fonts is very important. And I want these three to be on the same folder. I'm going to explain practically now. Look at this. So this is what I told. So this is my folder. Inside my folder, I have these three, which is I pointed out on my slides images so these are all the images which is needed because i'm going to slice these fruits so this is important and then white means lives red means gone okay that means done and dusted and this is for the background and this is for the explosion this is for the icon of bomb and when you slash this icon this is for the explosion this image this is font and this is background okay what else you need to have this pie game, this pie game. So this is a incorporated library of most of the games in Python. So what is the important thing with Python, you know? So you don't need to write many code. There is no essentiality for you people to write a lot of code because Python do contain a library. It has all the inbuilt package. Utilize it. Just make sure that you entitle that in your program. That's the beauty of Python. The way you write the code becomes very simpler and you don't need to surf any internet for you know doing a lot of stuff. It is there, use it and make sure that you get into it. Okay. Like the prerequisite. What is prerequisite generally? What are the external factors that is needed for the game development? The environment, the OS that you're going to work. Uh, the version of Python that you go but that is external factor. Internal factor, I already showed. There are three libraries, OS, Random, and Pygame. And I was specifically highlighted this, this Pygame is a third-party library where you people have to install it. After installing, the very essential point, the very essential point of this Pygame is that these are the inbuilt function. Inside a Pygame, there is a function called display. Inside a Pygame, there is a function called init. Inside a Pygame, there is a time. It is like, you know, it's like the Pygame is a whole lot package. For example, I'm running a mechanical shop, a bike mechanical shop. So what happened? I need to repair some bike, so I need some tools. So what I'll be telling, I'll be asking my, you know, helper to buy me, get me this tool. And again, I may ask my, you know, uh, helper to get me this panel. So what I'll be doing, I'll be doing, I'll be sending my helper to get certain things again and again. But it is better 
if i tell my helper to get the complete box which contains a complete tool that is what the library this library is a bag or the container which is going to contain all the tools necessarily needed for servicing my bike that's what pi game so pi game has a whole lot of package a whole lot of events so whatever it is necessary whatever it is necessity for you to use you can use that so among those events so whatever the highlighted are very important events are very important aspect of any program especially when you use pi game and you might have one basic question sir is this applicable only for this fruit ninja gaming development and my answer is capital letter n and o definitely no this pipe game is a whole lot of package which helps as in doing lot of programs lot of gaming so it is an inbuilt one you can develop using a pipe game with a different game also okay so pipe game is a overall package which contains a necessary helper script necessary library which is needed for developing any program so that's what the pi game so pi game is our icon here he is the hero here he is going to play the entire part whereas this os random python if statement while statement will do as a co artist in our the all function okay and uh, we discuss this and code setup simple i had one the five function i repeat i had only five function and this we are these are the five important function that i'm going to do so where i'm going to start where it is going to do the travel what are the conditions how can i stop my program how does i terminate that's it that is what i have written in various functions the operations okay and let's go into the code box so as you can see my screen right i'm using pycharm for development of my script okay and you can use whatever the editor that you feel that you are comfortable with as of now i'm using pycharm so before i get you people involved into the code i want you people to see how the output comes okay and let me show this code it starts from line number 1 and it ends at line number 166 so totally 160 lines of a code and imagine there is in between spaces also if you ignore these spaces and the line hardly comes up around 100 one and only 100 so it feel you should get the comfort that yes it is very easy to develop any program let me straight away run the program all right nothing is needed okay nothing is needed here so what happened here is that i got the screen i got the screen which is essential for my game this is what the fruit ninja what it says it says press any key to begin so let i'm just pressing any key that's it i'm not doing anything guys it started flourishing the fruits that's what it is it is started flourishing the fruits look at that okay because just to display you people just to show you people in other aspect right i just kept a time only and i started making this code it automated look at this the life is time now when it reaches a certain time it is going to end it is going to end that's it it says score is 15 so what i did the number of seconds that you play the number of the number of seconds you do play is what the score that i have decided here that is what the score i have decided here but in future if you want to make sure that you make the score based upon the swipe of the fruit you can do that let me press again and show you the fruits get popped out automatically on the left side right left corner you can see the scores for the respective uh, seconds and on the right side it gives you the likes it gives you the life as well okay so this is what it is can i get some response from you people anything on the output that you see i'm going to explain you about the coding part any response guys from all of you on the chat quickly 
Yeah, yeah. As of now, I just made it as an automatic score. Okay, as of now, I made it as an automatic score, and that's what I told. As of now, the number of seconds that you play without any trouble, that's what the score. The number of seconds that you survive. Fine. Good. Because I need the questions from you people so that I can give the answer from your perspective. No, you have to just click. You have to click. So let me play it. That's it. You need to keep your mouse. Look at that. You need to click the mouse. So I just made it like higher seconds. So it is running fast. So you need to use your mouse to swipe these things. As you do with your fingers, right? When you play with your mobile phones, same here. My 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 mouse is very sensitive because I cannot swipe any fruit. But that's how the game works. You need to swipe the fruit through the mouse event. So everything is a mouse event here. So that I want to give you the clarity. This is entirely on the mouse event. You go and touch any fruit, it will get automatically swiped off, sliced off. Look at the certain fruits are getting sliced. Look at that. Look at that. Certain fruits are getting sliced. If you remember, if you look closely, the number of fruits that I swipe, my seconds is getting increased. Look at it. Earlier it was only 15. As I started slicing the fruit, look at this. I'm still playing. The code is not getting terminated. Because that's how I, I made the code logic. Then you can write your own logic. Say that if I miss some 100 fruit count, you just eliminate the program. If I start missing 5 fruit, you delete that. So you can make anything. For the Nebun station, I simply kept it this way. So as I started swiping the fruits, right, the number of seconds that it gives me will getting larger. The life that I'm getting is very larger. That's it. It says 26. So earlier case, what happened? When I don't do anything, I think it is stopped around 15 or 16. It stopped around 15 or 16. But now what happened? As I started swiping the fruits, as I started slicing the fruits, the seconds got increased because that's how I have made my logic. And on top of this, you can see this is something that you can keep your names. Everything is a code. Absolutely, absolutely, whatever it is. I'll tell you, I am going through the, I'm going to take you people through the code. Fine. Let me stop this. Now, any program you want to understand, first you need to see where the program is getting evolution. That means where the program is getting started. In this Fruit Ninja program, the entire game starts on this while loop. The entire game starts on this while loop. Okay. So what is why? Why a game running? There is a variable that I'm used here. Game running means true. So while true. While true means the code will start running. So it will come here. That's what I just given like a starting for your understanding. Okay. So this is the block for starting and ending your program. This is your complete block. This is your entire block, especially the coding block. There are some questions, Nishant. It may run till the user interprets. Yeah, 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 absolutely. That's a wild statement. It keeps running. Okay. And the exact code starts over here. Look at this. If game over, game over means game start. Just a variable name. Don't take the literal meaning. Game over means the game is ending. No, this is just a variable. 
So here what happened? I have just kept this variable as a true. True means what? Start. So if true, yes. If first round, yes, it is a first round. Then start again. So it will go to this uh, function. This is the function. Okay. Look at this. So now that's what I told, right? Game display. What is game display? This is nothing but one of the aspect or attribute of a Phi game. So it has some gaming panel. You see the panel, right? The square box that is showed in the screen, right? That is what the game display. And uh, these are something that I'm going to keep it for the background cosmetics. And this is where the game starts. Look at this. You would have seen this icon, right? Press key to begin. Okay. If the game is getting over, then it is getting stop here by highlighting the score of yours. It highlights the score of yours and the game is getting stopped. So this is the actual function which helps us in making the code runs. It adds the score and also it ticks past the number of life, of life that you people has. Okay, so clock doc ticks means it is what the what is clock? Clock is again inbuilt attribute of a pie game. Okay, so I cannot, you know, take you through the entire lines, each and every line, but at least I can show you the block by block set of a code. And here, this is where it decides whether I'm going to quit. That means whether I'm going to close the program or again, I'm going to run the program. That's what I done here. When the code runs is the operation, when the first set of running is done, I Again, once again, I made that particular key press and I started playing the game. That's what it is. Okay. So that is what show game. And here there is another function, draw text. Look at this. And this is for actual screen fonts. So this is going to set all the font that you see, the scores, the S U O R E, the spelling, the X mark on the right side corner. So each and everything will be carried out by this functionality. Okay. So again, look at this. Inside of I game, you have something called font. Inside a font, you have something called font as a function, and you're making that. And that font name is comic dot p t f. This is what it is. That you're setting the font. Usually, right, you play any game, you need to set certain style of a font to get displayed. That's what here. Look at this. This is what the comic and this is what TTF file for me. That's what I'm using here. So this draw text file is basically to set your screen. That's it. So what are, what are the things that we see now? We just made this game dot display is that for the background and this draw text is to keep those font wherever it is applicable. The press key font quit font, the score you scored, the number of the numbers that got displayed, that everything will be text. Now, same thing. If the game is not over, again, it will check. That means here, this statement is basically for displaying the score when the game is over. Earlier, it was true, but I'm checking if it is not true. Somewhere, it is going to do some operation that we're going to see later. Okay, so... That's what it is. And then draw lives. There is another function called draw lives. So this is to set you the number of life a specific user has. Okay, look at this. Again, a basic Python. And this is alone the Pi game stuff. Pi game that image lot load of image. If you check this image, you will get to know what was the actual image. So Pi dot image is another part of the program, the list. So you come back here. As soon as you're done, you come back here. Because that is where you started. This is what you need to see. So game, show game over screen, the background screen it says, and then it says the draw leaves you. How many leaves it is going to display? That is what it is going to do. Then 
this is the event pi game that event that it right you're gonna get the event and you're gonna start here again you're setting the game display that big this is setting up the background score everything and this is where the entire game starts those fruits is getting popped out from here these things explosion generate fruit everything gets up here look at this this is vital 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 function generate means what it gives you the fruits it gives you the fruit and randomly it chooses the coordinate sometimes it comes in right side sometimes it comes in the left side sometimes it comes in the middle right it's randomly generating that's what it is look at this random dot rand in so that means within this 100 to 500 as a coordinate of x you know it right we generally play the game on two coordinates x axis and y axis so we need to set on which axis at which point between the x and y the particular fruit should come so that is what this displays this x and this y what is the speed of it you can decide the speed if you want the fruit to enter into the lower speed you can set it here and these are all the random based function random dot random int random it means randomly give me the integer number that comes between 100 and 500 randomly you give me the integer number that comes between minus 2 to 10 so that what happened you may not predict the same area where the fruit may come so fruit may come on the left side it may come on the middle it may come on the right so all this fruit popping out right the reason why that is getting popped out at this particular function and you know that every diagram every videos that you play it is always based upon the x and y coordinate so I'm just taking the X and Y and just going to give it to the function. I'm just deciding where it is going to get displayed. Where it is going to get displayed and this fruit path, it goes to the image folder of mine and it randomly picks the fruit. That's the beauty. If you want to see the fruit, look at this. Look at this from the fruits you are just popping out again what happened here you're calling this function so this function will be called again and the fruits will be randomly popped out if you want to see the fruits look at this so by default i've given that in a list so i've just given that in the iteration Okay, so it is giving the iteration. So basically, I'm going to have the data in the list. And when I need it, it is going to randomly pick. Sometimes it will pick melon, sometimes it will pick orange. That is what the random function. Okay, so let us go back to the same corner, same place. Yes, that's what generate proof and current mouse position. X, Y, that's what I told. It's all about the coordinates. And this is I'm checking. If I touch upon the bomb, a key called the bomb, what that should do? It should reduce my life by one. That's what minus is equal to one. That means if my life is already three, it will reduce that my life by minus one. So my life will become two. And then I'm deciding. And then I'm deciding. Look at this. If life becomes zero, I'm completely hiding the everything. If you want to see hide cross lips, I'm reducing the life. So what happened? That red color button you see in when I was look at this, this red color button, right? I'm hiding that. So I see with Python, I cannot do too much of technical aspect where you know I can remove that at all. I cannot remove, but what I'm doing here, I'm hiding the red color button. So what basically would have happened when I start the program, initially it would have been a three red shows the three life that I have. As soon as I hit that particular bomb, what happened? I'm hiding that red color. I'm not removing. I'm hiding. That's what. Hide cross lips. Cross lips means the text cross. That is just a name that I've given. So you can see it, right? Everything that I'm going to play, everything I'm going to do is only based upon a minor, minor code manipulation. 
that's what it is so here whenever the bomb is pressed that is what i was deciding i'm decrementing the life by one and by basic the life will be three if you want to keep it four you can do it and look at it if the user clicks the bomb from the three times that's it the game in bit shift if that's what here if the pale is less than 0 then it it going to start over and everything will be then as usual okay so just the four function as rightly pointed out and these are the basic thing that you need to set look at this i should have told first so initially you have to set how many life a player should get and initially you have to set what was the base score line and then you need to set what was the fruit that you're going to play and exactly this name should be there in your images okay why off orange here when i slice it should display this when i slice my pomegranate it should display this off sliced one so that is what off slice when i slice the melon it should give the off melon if i slice the goa it should give the off goa look at this everything is very easier that's what i'm doing here so basically i should get the basic name you need to make sure that these name are the exact replica of the image that you have and these are the basic setting what was the window the window size seconds in it is a basic pi game in it you have to initialize it here and this is the caption that you see on the screen this caption okay that's a screen and these are the colors you might be wondering sir what is this 255 these are nothing but a color coordinates if you keep 255 255 255 in this kind of a data it represent white if you keep 0 0 0 it represent black so these are color coordinates and then at first as i told right you are setting the background for your thing back dot jpg what is back dot jpg this one this is your background okay you are setting the background there and uh, you are setting the font so this is five game dot font dot font again the function and this is the method os dot path dot join you trying to join a path get cwd means current working directory so it will go to the current working directory from there it is going to pick the comic dot tf for that you can directly mention the name also i'm just given this just for showing you the additional functionality and os model but you can directly give this name okay so this is to join a folder with this file what does it mean that means this folder only in this folder you have that comic right that's what i did here and this is the live icon live means number of leaves i told red right, x mark so i just setting this variable so that whenever you date need a data to display or displaying it here okay so this random function you know it right it is going to randomly generate a fruit and it is going to set the geographical area or the geographical position where the fruit will going to travel or the bomb going to travel okay that is what here look at this it start returning that's what it is okay and this is to randomly take the fruit again you can see i'm using this function so every fruit will be randomly taken out and this function will be called and why this function is needed whenever you hit a bomb this will come and hide one red color icon what is red color icon the life that you have the app for that particular program draw text what the draw text what kind of a text that you going to display on your background that is the draw text what is draw leaves the number of x that you going to keep on the right side of your screen that's what the coordinate x coordinate and y coordinate look at this so what it says when you run when you run look at this this is y this is x so on the x 
and this point you need to keep your life that's what it is that's what this coordinates so look at this you are randomly setting one coordinate so that that particular image will be set up over there and show game over this is where the game shows the exact thing fruit ninja stuff when the game is over it is going to give you the score that is the starting screen starting screen show game over screen whether you want to press the key to continue again that it what here and this is all about the clocks that tick fast okay and the rest of the things this is what the initial part the inception part you have to set this as a true first round as a true game run as a true initially it should be set true but everywhere it might be setting into false look at this when it is done it is again set to false false means what that's it the code will stop its running that is what it is while game running okay look at this game over you are setting it false that means what whenever you are done you are making it as a false false means what again the code will not run and this is where the background stuff the x y axis the code gets popped out okay All right if you are python developer if you know the python already it is very pretty much easy guys it's like a cake walk for you people and if you are from some other background i know it is little bit of tough in understanding this a small aspect but i'll tell you people whatever i have done here it might sounds little you know tricky that i'm using so much of thing i'm using nothing if you people are good at string enough string and a bit of a looping iteration if while else that's it nothing much here the only part that you people have to learn is a few attributes of the pygame that you have to learn it's like a reading a normal stuff you have to learn what is pygame what is pygame dot display dot set caption okay what is spider display dot set mode okay this you need to learn but rest of the things this is something like a normal declaration look at this a normal assignment a dictionary here for that matter you need to learn dictionary and this is random dot random to generate a random number between 1 to 0 and this is a normal for loop which keeps iterating this list so you are trying to loop the list what is this a normal function calling it not even have the written statement and it calls it does the operation that's it it is not written even if, if it is a written then of course you will feel that difficulty factor but it is not at all having a written also it's like see daily i want to sweep my room morning afternoon evening i want to sweep my room what i felt i felt so burdened that i'm doing sweeping again and again so what i have to do appoint a sweeper so whenever i want that operation to be done call the sweeper that's what here i made a separate function when i need a use of the function just call it that's it that's what each and every function declare the operation if you need that's call that if you look at this this everything is a normal python operation so everything is a python operation while loop if loop again if the matter important matter is that the arrangement the alignment so i prefer you people to use pycharm for this matter because you have to play lot of if statement right so pycharm will give you some at least some intelligence if you do any wrong thing on the code okay so that's with respect to the that is with respect to the coding guys nothing much here to you know explain because of the time you know limitation if we have a broader time i would have explained each and every one of line by running the program but since we have a limitation of a time i am just sticking with this okay so i prefer you people to just go through this table see if you want to get mastered in anything this table is sufficient absolutely absolutely sufficient on my experience friend when you want to develop a pygame what is essential python language is essential inside a python what is essential a looping a function and exception if you look at my code i never done my exception try catch you have to do that that's it and you need to learn about the pygames what you have to learn you need to learn the number of event that pygames has the number of attributes i showed you right font dot font font dot set mode font dot set caption that you need to learn cosmetics mean some things like width height colors font that you have to learn and libraries for any gaming development random 
OS model, system module, time, regular expression, file operation will come into handy. And that is one library called Py installer. That is also important to convert. Now, what happening is that I'm running this. I'm, I'm just falling short of time, guys, and I'll take quickly. So Py install is another library which is going to convert this program. This is now I'm having as a Python program where I need a PyCharm to run the program or I need idle or I need a Jupyter to run the program. If I don't want anything, if I want to convert this program into exe, like normal gaming as you can do that. You can use Py install to convert this Python program into an executable program and tool. That's what I told, right? Whatever you feel that you are comfortable, you can use the tool. And additional stuff that I want you to add is logging, how the code is going. Because now what happened, I just randomly take you people through the code, through my vocals, through my voice only. But you need to set a log so that at the end of the code, your file will be generated where you can see where the code travels. You can see the number of steps, the hierarchy, where it travels first, at which function it travels again, where the error comes, so to the debugging. When I do the debugging, obviously you'll come to know where the logic exists. And then config. Config means when you want to keep any important related stuff, that is what config. And the database, now we didn't use any database, but you can use database to store the score of a user. As of now, I'm not specified any username. You can made a modification to the code in such a way that you get the username and ask him to play. Once you're done with the play, you can store that user and box into a DB. I prefer you to use MongoDB because that is what I need of an R. Okay. So that's it with respect to whatever I supposed to do from my end guys. And I hope that this session would have been given at least a small glimpse, at least the eye opener for you to feel. Yes, I can do the coding. Everybody can do the Python game. I, if I confess you people guys, everybody, if you know the basics of Python, you can strongly sit and start doing the program development with respect to the experience I hold. I can, you know, strongly believe that everyone can do the code provided you understand the basic, at least the tablet structure that I have shown. Okay. So I want to thank each and every one of you who has given me the opportunity and uh, there are a few requests from uh, people. So I don't have this control over uh, with me guys. Let me, you know, talk to my team and they will give you the whatever necessary things that they are going to give from their side. And so I'm done from my part. Uh, you can take the. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mohan. Uh, nice. Just uh, giving, I was uh, curious. Uh, I was uh, keenly watching how it can be done. Yes, it's uh, you are telling very simple and uh, easy to do. Yes, a little effort can give uh, any uh, interesting game. Thank you, thank you for the presentation. Uh, yes, uh, participants here, uh, I would like to call upon Mr. George to give a few exciting news to you. Uh, please hold on and post that we have a Q&A session. Okay, so you can ask any technical doubts, our Mohan, Mr. Mohan will be available. Before that, I would like to call upon Mr. George to give some exciting news for you. Yes, George, Mr. George, it's over to you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Morgan, for your valuable session. Thanks. Yes, yes uh, Mr. Uh, dear learners, uh, Mr. Morgan will be our trainer. Okay. Um, he will be the course instructor. We are running, we are, we will be starting a course on 4th of this month. Okay. Coming Saturday and that will have Python full stack training. Okay. So 80% of our uh, sessions will be like uh, this, as you have seen. Okay. It will be of hands on sessions. And the objective is like once once you complete this one, you will get a confirmed placement, assured placement. So this is what like get placed in 99 days. The course duration is 90 days. And within another 10, once you complete this training form in next nine days or 10 days, you will be able to get a job on your hand. So that is what. So along with this uh, Python full stack training, you will also get a professional certificate from BSS and Skill Technica. And also, uh, uh, we are associated with 370 plus companies to give placements. Okay, so as recruiting part as recruiting partners, we know the, uh, they don't expect uh, they, they not only expect the technical skill sets, there are also other skill sets that are required, like soft skill trainings and other skills. So that training will be also given as a complimentary session, so that you will have more opportunity to get higher packages as a pressure when you go to the companies. Okay, 
and along with that if you want to develop your skill sets like uh, artificial in artificial intelligence that course will be given as a complimentary course to you so that will help you to boost your career in the next level so uh, you can see the uh, contact numbers and then email ids and then you will be you are, you, you are seeing your website also on the screen so uh, once this session is over we will be keeping in touch with you through whatsapp and through mail uh, so that you uh, if you are interested you can connect with us and you can join our session yes uh, madam sumati you can take it over madam Uh, yes, our Sivam Subala sir is here. I would really like to address sir. Yes, yes, Sumi. Okay. Yes, sir. Please. Thank you. Uh, thank you all, and uh, thanks for your time. Uh, I just wanted to have uh, feedback from you uh, to the, from the participants. How was the session? You know, just to have a feedback. Uh, gaming is one of the most potential, uh, you know, job provider and then a, an excellent uh, career opportunity. And Python is the number one. world's number one programming and skilling language you know programming language and uh, we in skill technica you know we are uh, specializing in python and uh, you know we are uh, python experts uh, trying to give the most holistic knowledge to you along with the job placements uh, thank you shubham it was very informative session very nice pallavi thank you okay so uh, why python python is most easy language to learn anybody can learn and it has a very huge bandwidth many of you may be students job seekers working professional we have a huge amount of people uh, here just to tell you uh, everybody uh, think they know python because it is taught from the schools colleges but uh, there is no focus and uh, we do not have experts teaching python because to be employed and in order to fast track your career you know in order to quickly improve your uh, salary you know even good python developers get up to 10 to 15 lakhs you know basically uh, it starts from 3 lakhs and it goes up to 15 lakhs so they get very highly paid because python is the fundamental for ai artificial intelligence machine learning data science iot uh, in any other technology even like web full you know website development mobile development app you know gaming chatbots uh, you name uh, python is there you know it's it's, it's very quickly overtaking the uh, java so uh, i would really request all of you to uh, you know invest your time in the python and next 10 to 15 years it's going to rule the world and uh, if you need any support uh, in a very professional training you and skilling you into advanced python frameworks and any of this latest technologies uh, skill technica is really committed so we have been doing so many uh, seminars we have been doing so many uh, digibytes and webinars on various topics even we are about five to six topics really lined up because we want to bring this and then give you an awareness that all these opportunities opportunities do exist because many people are not aware and these informations are not told in the regular uh, educational institutions or you know people are really not aware so we play the critical role because we are bridging the gap between the job seekers and the employers the job givers because we have been into this industry for more than 3 years and we have given about say 5000 plus people training and we have also given uh, several placements across india so we are able to provide placements in almost all major cities in india and we are able to give uh, python in uh, regional languages in hindi in tamil in english whatever language you want we are able to give both classroom trainings we are able to give uh, even uh, uh, online trainings uh, you know so at, at your convenience so if you teach in tamil more yes nivedita we will teach you in tamil because there is a pan india audience here we have been covering in uh, thing but then uh, mohan can you know he is from uh, uh, he can very well also uh, take a very effective course and explain you in uh, the regional language that is also possible we will do it so what we are going to do is we can give you an assessment basically uh, you know we do an assessment test before taking any people because we on an average spend a huge amount of time with the placement cell with each and every candidate so i'm going to ask george to send you uh, assessment 
uh, form where you can assess yourself where do you know where do you are in the existing uh, you know uh, python uh, skill set then you will get the results then we can arrange for a free career mentorship program with our career mentors who can guide you how to position your career and how to fast track your career okay so this can help you and then you can take a decision you know whether you would like to uh, you know we are okay even if you learn outside but with us we are able to give you attitude uh, logical uh, trainings logical thinking and then all the soft skill training we have cast people charge for artificial intelligence and machine learning and they don't care about the fundamentals but in skill technica we build strong fundamentals in python and we give you artificial intelligence free of cost you know because we are made sure because artificial intelligence is just a tool it is just a library you know python library which you need to put together and a certain way of thinking programming skills but if you have your base very strong in python then wherever you go you will you are going to be welcome with uh, you know red carpets because we are getting so much of requirements every day from so many organizations believe me we are not able to cater to the needs of the python uh, you know the job requirements so we are also genuinely looking forward for creating a, a good uh, base for python developers so we are able to help so many organizations who are actually uh, reaching out to us so uh, george can leave the number or you can reach to our website skilltechnica.com george you can also uh, give your the, the contact details you know to the to the people so that whoever wants need beyond this beyond all this say the course the fees participations guys if you genuinely need support and help come to us uh, you know we have been supporting uh, so many people so many students so many freshers and job seekers uh, who have passed up in 2021 as covid in covid several people have been affected okay several people have not found their job they are going as a ola drivers uber drivers swiggy and you know all these kind of uh, jobs so we would like to also play and then help them you know so that we are able to align them to a proper career so we have a career center in chennai we are headquartered in chennai we have a wonderful learning facility in the heart of the chennai which is at dungambakkam so please do walk in you are free free basically we are not going to charge you for any of the career counseling or career mentoring session just coming to this place and then having at the ambience having the you know the learner experience will be great rewarding for you we are also aware we are also available online so you can also reach us in online and we are very very dedicated not only trainers but a very good uh, you know program coordinators like sumi who is head of operations you know who can who will be there with you from end to end then we have george who is not just taking care of uh, sales and business development but he is also very much considerate you know uh, in dealing with uh, you know a lot of students then we have varun so there are there is a set of organization guys like we are not one people we are actually a set of more than 20 almost including our associates we are having a set of very committed people who are trying to develop india as a tech hub and we are able to create a lot of good technologies out of india so help us and be a part of the journey and then take advantage of the services which are being provided by skill technica and then uh join us in our future uh, digibytes we have every week we have one or two digibytes all lined up so um, you know get in touch with us and then we will be able to give you a free access to almost all the digibytes guys do you find uh, uh, whatever i have said interesting if you find it is interesting and meaningful just put yes in the chat box so i know yes you have been attentive and my message has reached you guys just put yes if you have understood wow okay okay so good good s is coming more s is coming that's really nice uh, so uh, i uh, you know as a ceo of uh, skill technica we really looking forward for uh, uh, association and collaboration with each and every one of you because we are very very genuinely interested in uh, creating better lives to all our learners so Uh, more than the commercial angle, we we look forward in order to help you and serve you and help you to get your career better. Thanks. Thank you. Over to you, Subhi, and thanks for giving this opportunity.
Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, uh, for giving wonderful speech. Yes, uh, participants, uh, we are not That's commercial me, people. Uh, we are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am coming to that. Uh, we are service oriented people. Uh, here we have uh, some testimonials. You may wonder uh, placements, how you are uh, assisting. Yes, we have the testimonials here. You can have a look on that. Uh, please, uh, it's over to. Uh, yes, please have a uh, testimonials for, of our recruiters. I'm so thankful to Skin Technica for getting me placed in a very short span of time. I did a three month Python course full stack training with the Skin Technica. Throughout my training, uh, trainer operation and placement team were very supportive. Thank you, Skin Technica, for turning my career in IT. Yeah, I highly recommend Skin Technica Python Expert for training and placements. Thank you. Yes, participant. This is one of our uh, placement. We did the placement. Uh, this is one only uh, due to shortage of time. We are not able to give more testimonials. But uh, yes, we are doing the places placement assistantship. Don't worry about your future once you enroll with us. Yes, here we are to guide you from end to end, starting from learning to place into a job. Okay. Yes, uh, with this, we will come to the end of the session. If you have quick questions, I can take one or two questions from you, uh, technical questions or any uh, questions related to our organization. Quickly, I will take two or three questions, then we will wind up the session. Any queries? Yes, thank you. Thank you for your response. Thank you for joining us uh, and spending your valuable time with us. Keep learning, have a happy learning and have a happy future. Wishing you all the best for your uh, future endeavors. Thank you, all of you. Wishing you all a great week ahead. Yes, thank you.